My name is Danny. I'm from Breeze Surf Club in Koh Phangan, Thailand. I've been kiting for 14 years already and I've been kiting here in this beautiful island, my lucky self. So today we're going to be introducing the Ozone Edge V12. I'm super duper excited because this is the first one in Thailand. We pumped the V11 and we pumped the V12 to try to compare what's the difference, what they have they done differently. So I'm going to open this up to show you the V11. This is what happened with the old days when you kite for a while. And this kite is old and takes a lot of abuse. Sometimes the, because of the big window here, the leading edge nearby, the leading edge, you can see a bubble where it stretch out. So this will make the kite not uh, stabilize the kite and also have a lot of power and then no power at all. Where the V12, what they do is they create a smaller window. This is the same thing as Duotone. Duotone has been doing this for a long time since they were north. So you will see a little window and then a big window. This will prevent the, the stretching uh, for the future when you abuse the kite and also makes the kite more stiff in the leading edge area. So the next thing is the anti-flapper. So the V11 will have two anti-flapper which made by like a really soft kind of foam. And this one is only one now and they're made by a hard, um, a little bit harder uh, plastic. So absolutely beautiful. So they make this kite lighter. This, this is the V11 is already a tank. The V12 is a tank but it fly like a butterfly because it's lighter but I'm sure it's still gonna be screaming on a very stormy day so this is uh, also a big difference between V11 and V12 V11 you see the tip of the back uh, trailing edge is very small on the lid on the, the, um, the tube right so the V12 is bigger this one used to have a problem where when the bridle the back bridle wrap around the, the wingtip and you cannot get it out. It's really hard to get it out. I have many, many issues when I messed up, right? So now the V12, they make it a little bit thicker and also this one is bigger. So when this wrap around, it shouldn't come out, should come out very, very easily. So that's the difference. And the V12 charger, the inside, they make a little bit more details here. So let's go on the inside. So with the V12, the valve, the pump valve is still the same thing. Nothing changed at all, but they make a little bit prettier with a little embroidery on here. And the clamper is very cool. It has a little bit of instruction there, made out from soft rubber, cover it. So instead of the fabric like the old day, this is very cool. probably around seven or so very very hard to control the kite but it's enough so I think we got the top the most is 12 knots and the low as you can see the kite stalling but it catch the wind very very nicely on the edge V12 so let's see what we got here Woo! I'll try the kite with one hand here guys proper proper storm to be testing this out and uh, we cannot wait thank you for watching danny form research club saying goodbye from thailand